Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. I'm Brandy, and I have a really fun grocery haul for you today. This is gonna be different than any one that I've done before because I made three new friends virtually. Other YouTube mamas reached out to me about a month ago, and we've been emailing, encouraging each other, and so I have three friends to introduce you to if you do not know them already. We're gonna do a collab on our once a month April grocery hauls. So. The first mom, many of you may already know her. Her name is Megan from Planning Birches, and Megan is a homeschooling mom to five kids. So she's pretty famous for her once a month grocery hauls. She also does, it's my sweet Daniel, grandson in the background, does a lot of cook with me's, recipes, organizing, and she's really an encouragement to other moms that are trying to get organized and do once a month grocery hauls. The next vlog is the Conley clan, and I've actually got had a chance to speak on the phone with her and for a long time. We had a really sweet conversation. She is another kindred spirit, large family that has adopted through foster care, so we were able to really connect and encourage each other. We had a lot of common interests and her, her vlog they also do large family grocery hauls and she also has a lot of informative videos about foster care and adoption so go check out her channel and the next vlog is Brady Browning she is a mom to two little girls and also just recently went back to college herself on her vlog you'll see a lot of fun grocery hauls and recipe ideas and she also does a lot of day in the life. If you are coming to my channel today from one of these vlogs in the collab, welcome. We're glad to have you here. And if you could leave a comment and say, hi from Megan's vlog, it would be fun to see where y'all are coming from. And if you are a follower of mine, do me a favor and click on the links to my new friends' videos. They will be in the description box below and go and support our new friends. So this is our April once a month grocery haul. Usually we break it down into multiple videos and we will be doing that again this month. Today I'm combining Walmart, Target, Sam's Club, and Drug Emporium. So you'll see all that today and then also um, subscribe and click the notification bell if you like grocery hauls because in the coming days you will see our Aldi haul will be a separate video and also I placed a, another small is your standard order. This is our second order from them. We had a really great experience the first time. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with Drug Emporium. It is a small, I don't know if it's just here in Texas, but it has a lot of health foods and a lot of toiletries. So I get a lot of my gluten-free items there. I have celiac disease, so we eat gluten-free just for me. So I got a couple of the Amy's frozen meals there, and my mom had actually picked up one of these boxes for me last month, the Pamela's, it was the cranberry, and so I am trying two new flavors, the blueberry melon, and this one is chocolate chip coconut. And these are really, they're soft and they're really good. And then I tried these crackers last month and really liked them. I had tried the jalapeno jack, and so this month we're trying the cheddar, or I'm trying the cheddar cheese and country ranch. And here are my four little flaky rolls, croissants, and I think there's four rolls for, if you can see that price, it is $5.59, so over a dollar a roll. But I guess when I'm desperate, that will be worth it. And then this pack of rolls was really good. And I'm gonna try these plain bagels. I have a, I like the flavored gluten-free bagels from Aldi, but they're flavored and so I also like to have sandwiches with bagels so I got these plain ones to try and then two packages of the whole grain hamburger buns and all this goes directly into the freezer. I just had my receipt here and I lost it. Okay, 
Well, it was 50, 50 some dollars. We'll put all of our totals in the description box. So next I'm gonna do Target. I have a son graduating high school this May and he is gonna be living independently in student housing apartments and going to a local college here. And so I have budgeted $40 a month to kind of get him stocked up for things that he will need in his apartment. So all of this is the room essentials line from Target. So I got him four bowls, four plates. These are all plastic, four cups, this little strainer, measuring cups, spatulas, a cutting board, and then some cooking pans. My husband was teasing me that he's actually not going to cook, but I think he'd be surprised. So we will keep you posted. We'll come say hi to Daniel. This is my grandson, Daniel. He's eight months old. Hi. He loves being at Ninny's house. He's who you were he hearing squealing in the background. He is my helper, huh? Okay, target, target, target. Okay, and then this little section over here is Target. I got these, we're in the dollar spot, these little Peeps Band-Aids for Evan's Easter basket. And this was on an end cap, and I'm gonna try this Birch Benders pancake mix. It is gluten-free, it's just add water. One of my dearest friends, Vicki, makes the most incredible banana, I'm losing, oh, banana pudding that requires these chessmen cookies on top. So it's really pretty each. The whole top is layered with these cookies. I always make I always make this on Easter as dessert. So I went ahead and got that. We were stocked up on shampoo, but I bought three of the Suave conditioners. I follow the Curly Girl method and to my knowledge, this is Curly Girl approved, but the kids also use this. One of this, oh, this is actually equate so this is Walmart it's out of place and then some lotion and two packages of the hair ties but you can see that now okay all right on to Walmart there's a few things over here I got six of the apple juices I used to buy this at Sam's Club and they have been out for a while and I got three boxes of the 60 count of eggs. Our hens have not started laying yet. They were born right around Thanksgiving, so they're already kind of past due when they should. So hopefully, this is our last month. These three boxes should last us a little over two weeks, and I'll have to buy more, but that's all I can store at one time. With Easter this month, every month, or every year I say that I'm gonna save our plastic eggs, and I know I should for the environment, but they're usually scattered everywhere and not put together, and so it's just a hassle. So maybe this year we'll do better. But I got 250, and then I bought this package solely for this gold egg. Our teenagers and adults participate in the egg hunt, and a few of the eggs have some money in them the golden egg with the big prize so it's hidden really well and it's actually pretty fun to watch them fight to find that and then we do not do easter baskets for our bigger kids but they will all get special treats on easter morning so i got some pink peeps and yellow peeps and then I, I just bought one bag of 95 to fill some of these eggs. And then I also bought jelly beans somewhere. These two things of Texas toast are for French toast that I will make ahead of time and put in the freezer. This Nature's Own Crafted is the bread that my husband likes. If you have followed my channel, I bought a special mixer for me to make sandwich bread. And I have not done that yet. I have been lazy, but it's on the horizon, hopefully. And I didn't take these out. I think there's eight orange juices. We keep these frozen pulp free. And two of these will serve us all one glass in the morning. So this is like four breakfast where we can have orange juice. And then 
If you watched our Vigo garden video, we have a garden plan. I have a big back porch that has brick stairs and I have three of these and I bought six more. These are the whiskey barrels and each one of these has a plan for what crops and flowers I'm putting in there. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe so you can see this grow over the season. Okay, I got just some more of these dinners for me. I usually try to make things that I can eat with the family, but these are nice to have around if they're eating pizza or something that I'm just not prepared to eat. So I got two of these, poblano, this is actually my favorite one, and then just some more enchiladas. We are not, we're trying to do a freezer pantry challenge where I'm mainly buying fresh things and household items, but I needed these two for an Easter recipe for hash brown casserole. So I went ahead and bought those and then we were totally out of sweet potato fries and I've been craving that, so broke the rules there. These um, blueberries, I wanted to make some blueberry muffins for the freezer and Evan has also will pretty much eat a whole carton in a couple days. So I went ahead and got some more of those. I keep forgetting to look for these at Sam's. I did not see them. It's so much cheaper there. This is just the plain avocado. And so when I make avocado toast, one of these toasts about two pieces of bread. So this is just easier. And then if you try to do fresh avocados, they usually go too soft on me before I can use them. This says use or freeze by April 30th. So this will stay fresh for the whole month. I'm stepping over our dog food for our big dogs. This has been really hard to come by, even our country store. We've not been able to get the brand and flavors that we like, so I just went ahead and grabbed those. So this is my produce. I'm gonna get most of my produce at Aldi. Then I got some celery, green onions. We're having hamburgers over the weekend, so I got some romaine lettuce for that. We make something called Uncle John's corn that requires some canned corn, but also four ears of corn. So I went ahead and got those. E these were 80 cents a piece, which I remember when you could get like five ears of corn for a dollar. So that seemed really high, but I wanted to get this in the freezer. And then here is kind of my <laughs> funny for pickup. So I thought I said, Point, like a quarter of a pound of jalapenos and this feels like almost two pounds there's probably 20 jalapenos in here and then the same with these serrano peppers there's at least 20 so I don't know if I clicked something wrong the poblano peppers I use for a hash brown casserole and I really only needed four and luckily I only got four so that's good one thing of kale and we're making some lettuce wraps and these matchstick carrots. It says shredded carrots, but I'm too lazy, so I got these matchstick carrots for that. I bought this for hamburgers, but it seems kind of small. I, mean, I should have gotten two, but we'll stretch that and make it work. Two things of cilantro. I am going to make from Magnolia Tables cookbook her bruschetta and it called for these um, rainbow cherry tomatoes and so we're gonna have that kind of as an appetizer one night and then I bought six Roma tomatoes. These look really pretty. I've not been able to find any sort of fabric, not fabric, um, stain remover at Sam's for months and months and months. So I went ahead and we were totally out, got spray and wash and a refill. And then we ran out of my Walmart bags. That's usually what I use because I have so many after a grocery haul. So I went ahead and grabbed these just to put in the back for when that happens. I have two things of potatoes on the floor. This is for like making scallop potatoes and mashed potatoes. Just a variety of baby foods, mainly banana and banana blueberry. So there is barely any in here, and I wanna say this was three or four dollars of these pine nuts. I'm making a soup tonight from the Magnolia Table recipe that called for pine nuts on top. So I think next time, unless this just adds a ton of flavor, which I doubt we will be skipping that part because that seems kind of wasteful for the amount given. I have not bought Oreos in a while. We are gonna have some ice cream 
Sundays ah. for a birthday. And so some of these I'm gonna crumble for a topping and then wanted to just have some on hand. Here's another mix up. <laughs> I thought this said ciabatta loaf, Italian ciabatta. It had the word loaf online. And so this is what I was gonna use for our bruschetta. And if, obviously this is like a single serve sandwich size. So we're gonna have to go to plan B on that. And then I got these two gluten-free baguettes for when they're having like French bread. These are actually really yummy. These sandwich rolls are when they're having sandwiches. I ordered eight cans of this, so I need to check my receipt and just see if it was out of stock because they didn't mention any substitutes. And this fish sauce is for the lettuce wraps and these beef cubes. He's stuck in the potatoes. These beef cubes are for a um, enchilada recipe. I can't remember. Um, six sister stuff if I end up making that this month I can film that and show you it looked really good I know I ordered two of these I have a son that prefers just these pears so when everybody else is eating a fruit cups from Sam's he has these I know I ordered one more package of that so I need to check my receipt and this these are toppings for the here's some more the ice cream bar got some waffle bowls and we have a birthday this month, so I got some fun happy birthday and sparkly candles. This is our fresh section. I got four almond milks. We use this as unsweetened. We use this for smoothies. Two of the heavy creams. This has been out of stock at Aldi and Sam's. I'm thankful I got this. I'm going to use, I think, one and a half of these to make my soup tonight. Cream cheese has been out of stock. I bought six two packs. It does not go bad until November, it says. So we'll definitely be able to eat that up. Sam's did not have their smoked sausage for my skillet meals. This will barely be enough for one meal, but we're gonna go for it. So I got that out of pie crust. We do bagels on Tuesdays. So I got strawberry and plain whipped cream cheese for the bagels. We were out of cottage cheese. A couple of recipes call for that, so I just got one of those. Um, these plain vanilla yogurts are for one of my sons. He prefers those. And then I'm trying these strawberry pouches for Evan. He has major food aversions and works with a speech therapist to help with that. And so we're gonna see if we can get him to eat. Try this new flavor. Okay, we are back from Sam's Club. There were a few things that they did not have in stock. So I'm gonna check online to see if they have those. Our laundry detergent and fabric softener and the all natural wipes, baby wipes, they didn't have in stock. So I'll probably make that order online. Okay, so they did not have a lot of produce. So I just got a little bit. I got these big baking potatoes and some red potatoes, some organic blueberries, and one pack of strawberries. These are really big and look really good. The Cara Cara oranges, we got two bags of these. I have a little bit of oranges left over from this past month that we'll eat up first. So I'll put these in the back of a refrigerator until we're ready to use those. These nectarines, it's a four pound bag. I think it was $7.50. So we got those, we'll get, get those in the fridge too. One pack of chicken broth. I know that I'm totally out. And so even though we're doing the pantry challenge, I wanted to go ahead and grab six of these. And then I got a little bit of fresh meat. I have not yet made my Meal plan, I'll do that before I go to the other stores, but I knew I in my freezer I'm totally out of ground turkey. So this is uh, five pounds, two, two and a half pound packages. And then I just got two of the chicken breasts. They were 220, let me see, 224 a pound, which is, I don't like to spend more than $2 a pound, but I didn't know if I would be able to find this at other stores. So I went ahead and got two. I do have a small amount in the freezer that we will use up first. I got another pack of hamburgers. 
I got this huge already cooked brisket that's going straight into the freezer for Easter. It is, oh, it's heavy. Let's see how big it is. It is seven, a little over seven pounds, and it was eight seventy-eight a pound, so it was sixty-four dollars for our Easter meat. That's really good. We will chop this for chopped beef sandwiches after church for Easter. That's kind of our tradition. I got two bags of these bacon crumbles. They literally probably won't even last us a week and a half. The kids add that to pretty much everything. We have one birthday this month. My Lizzie is turning 16 and she asked for popcorn chicken for lunch on her birthday. So we got one bag of that. I got three packages of lunch meat, one ham, one honey turkey, and one peppered turkey. And then these beef franks, this is 80, so it's a ton. They go straight in the freezer but I will individually bag them, I think in 16 per bag. That's about what we eat if we have these for lunch. Here's my small little pantry section. I got some more pecans. This non bread we'll make um, homemade pizzas with. I got two 24 counts of the tortillas. We were totally out of tortillas. These expire in May, so we should, we'll have these gone by halfway through the month. We just finished up our on the border salsa from last month, so I went ahead and got one of those, a big sour cream. We have a ton of cheese um, in our stockpile that we need to eat down, so that I only got one package of string cheese for Evan. I think we still have one unopened, so that should be plenty. They were out of heavy cream, so I just got one half and half. And their cream cheese is not the best price there. I think this was almost $7 for four, but I could not find cream cheese at any stores last month. So I went ahead and got a four pack, and then if I see it at a better deal at Aldi, I will grab a bunch more of that. This is our kitty litter. It's four packages. We switch out our litter once a week, so that should last us the month. I got these Quaker Rice Crisps, and we got this bag last month of two big bags of tortilla chips inside, and I think it was gone halfway through the month. They did not have the coffee that we normally get, the member's mark, so I got one bag of this organic, and I'm gonna check online. One thing of 7-Up, and same thing with our K-Cups. We usually get the donut house. They were out of that. These milk bones were on instant savings. I've not done my Atwoods run, so I haven't checked what we're out of, but since they were on a couple dollars off, I went ahead and got those. We have been running low on our microfiber towels, so I got a new package of these. This is 36. And then this is this sanitizer that I've been putting in our boys' laundry, and it's made a world of difference. A viewer suggested this a few months ago. This was the only, um, what is this called? Scent Booster that was on Instant Savings. So we're gonna try this Gain flavor. And we've been out of these. So I just got the Glade. It's the Hawaiian Breeze. It smells real springy. And another package of paper. And then I bought these cute paper plates. I think they were $8.88 for Easter. It looks like there's a ton in here. Let's see. Um, oh, there's two designs. It doesn't, oh, 50 count. And then we were totally out of toothpaste. I use Thieves toothpaste from Young Living and my kids hate the taste of it. So they're gonna be excited to have not a natural version of toothpaste. And we used our last bar of soap this week. So we got one big pack of this for the girls. They did not have any of the manly scents there in stock. So I have to get that at Walmart. Totally out of deodorant since there's, I really should have got two packages now that I'm thinking about it because if all the boys come and take a deodorant, then we're out again. Let's see. Okay, lots of buns. We're gonna be cooking out quite a bit this month. So 
I got, let's see, three packages of hamburger meat and two of hot dog. Okay, so I will put the total in the description. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I did have some Sam's cash that I applied towards this purchase. Um, that is just a percentage of what you spend at Sam's. They give you cash back once a year. So that was nice. I usually use it to just pay towards my yearly membership, but that's not due until May. So I went ahead and just applied it to this order. Okay, so that that is it for our April once a month grocery haul part one. So stay tuned for part two coming in the next couple of days where we finish stocking up for the month. And I did a freezer tour that I filmed and haven't posted yet. So I will do that and I'll also film our pantry so we can kind of see how much we're able to eat down in one month without me purchasing a lot of those items. So if those are things that you're interested in, we would love to have you subscribe and like our channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.